I'm Sheriff Ken Mascara. I'm your host, Sergeant Zerkowski. And here's what's coming up on this episode of 10-8. Sir, my computer's telling me it's not expired. And, in, and unless I get your PO on the phone to tell me that it has, I am going to take you to jail tonight for violation of probation. This is up with your PO. She said you're not supposed to be in Fort Pierce. You do have a curfew. What's going on? Oh, she took her purse out of her car when she was putting her groceries in. And what did he do? Just He just snatched your pocketbook and he took off? Open the door and snatched his hand. What's the last name you do? White. Lied about his name. Oh, he's been placed under arrest for the two offenses. I've been working with the Sheriff's Office for approximately 11 years. Uh, did a little over four years in the jail. I uh, did just about every job you could do in the jail. Everything from working back in the pods to booking the uh, transportation. Ended up going to Crossover Academy, coming out to Road Patrol. And after approximately two years on Road Patrol, went over to Special Investigations, um, working narcotics and vice type crimes, street crimes. And recently, approximately a year ago, transferred back to Road Patrol and have been on uniform Road Patrol ever since, coming to midnights. Yeah, we're going to stop this car. We're running that tag. 300 SO 1050. They don't have a uh, tag light. It's going to be on a silver Dodge. It's going to be 27th Street, Avenue I, India. Deputy Jaden with the Sheriff's Office. Need to see a license registration, please. Is this not your car? Okay, you don't know where the registration would be? All right. Sir, do you have your identification with you? Who, me? Yep. Sure. Thank you. I tell you what, I'll try to get the tag off of uh, the computer. You guys stay in the car for a second. The reason for the stop tonight, sir, is uh, you don't have a tag light. The driver of this vehicle. What is the suspect's vehicle? Computer showing that he's on felony drug offender probation uh, oh, for really? possession of cocaine. And he has a drug offender curfew of 2,200 hours, which is 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning. He's not supposed to be driving. What, well, is he supposed to be on probation? That's what I'm looking for. I can't right. find it. Expires 8109. Where, yeah, do you see that? Uh, Where do you one, see two, that? Where do you see that? Right here. Uh, so he's. He's on probation. Let's pull him out and go 1015. Is he a passenger? Is there a passenger? Nope. That's for, yeah, there is a passenger. So. Mr. Step out. Come back here real quick. A couple things we need to talk about. I'm going to put your hands up here on top of the car. Any weapons, anything like that on you? All right, put your hands behind your back. Yep, we're going to talk about all that in just a second, okay? If it's, I tell you what, give me, is that better? All right. Okay, come back here and talk with me for a minute. My computer is showing that you're on probation. Yes, sir. Okay. No curfew, no curfew. No curfew, it's still showing you have a curfew? Sir, it's terminated December 6th. 2008, your computer will show you that. I have the no, the computer won't show me that. The computer says that your probation expires 8 1 of 09. So you can call my probation officer. Okay, do you have your probation officer's phone number? Yes, sir, it's in my wallet. It's in your wallet. Where's your wallet at? On the car. In the car. My name is Ben. Go to her. I in 21st Street. Look out. Is he going to call me for a probation? Sit down, yeah. I'm going to call your probation officer. I in 21st. I don't even know what she has. Look, release from supervision, 81 of 09. Cynthia, that's her phone number. And as it comes down, it says miscellaneous fists, cocaine, possession, special conditions, drug offender curfew, no driving, no bars. Sir, my computer's telling me it's not expired. And, in, and unless I get your PO on the phone to tell me that it has, I am gonna take you to jail tonight for violation of probation, okay? There's also another problem that we haven't spoken about yet. That tag doesn't belong on any vehicle. Uh, you're operating an unregistered motor vehicle on the streets of St. Lucie County. That's arrestable. Hi, Miss. How are you? Uh, 
I appreciate you calling me so quickly. I am out with a Mr. And he's swearing up and down that he doesn't have a curfew and everything else, but my computer is still showing that he has a drug offender curfew. Yeah, he's, I'm have him in the back of my patrol car right now. Yes, ma'am. And he said that you knew he was here. Uh, he does, I ran his license. He does, ha he does have a good license. But it says no bars, no drinking, uh, no driving, and a 2200-06 curfew. And he's, I have him at 29th Street and Avenue I right now, driving a vehicle with an unassigned tag. All right, well, he'll be going to the county jail tonight then. So that's where he'll be. Okay, I appreciate you calling me back so quickly. Take care. Mr. That was your PO. She said you're not supposed to be in Fort Pierce. You do have a curfew. That's my uh, probation officer in Tallahassee. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to get in touch with Mr. from Tallahassee. Your probation officer here said the terms of your conditions have not been changed. You still have a curfew and that I should take you to jail. That's what she told me. That's the best I can do, okay? If, if something happens that your probation officer up there knows something more than the computer in the Department of Corrections down here, you can have, that's something you guys will have to work out in court, but for tonight you are under arrest for violation of probation, okay? All right, sir. All right. Uh, this young man, uh, we arrested him tonight for violation of probation. He was on felony probation. Uh, had a good story, swore that uh, the terms, conditions have been altered. Check with Department of Corrections showed that they weren't he was very believable, uh, but we actually even spoke to uh, one of his actual probation officers and they said that the terms and conditions had, terms and conditions had not been altered and he still had the 2200 curfew. So he is in jail tonight for violation of probation. We will finish up and get this affidavit printed and try to go out and get another one.